we're gonna loosen your brake reservoir cap okay then the, this is your brakes there is a sensor and I have a new sensor right here so now we'll have to remove this bolt and there is exactly the same one on the bottom we'll remove both of these bolts then we'll have to remove this bracket, that brace once that removed I will pry off the brake caliper off the disc. I got the brake pads and uh, this is one and this is the second one. So when I look at the original, this is the Mercedes-Benz part. The important thing is, if you buy the original part, or to remove this plastic before we install this back into the caliper. And uh, before you put your brake pads, you have to compress the cylinder and install on this brake sensor into the pad. It's not really easy to do the job in it and have a camera at the same time. So very simple there's a little hole in there slide in there push it in okay we're gonna remove that film and now we're gonna install the brake pad okay I have both of the new brake pads installed in the place and now I'm gonna slide this into my rotor Okay, I got this in place, it's still loose, because I have to tighten the back, the 30 mil bolts, on up top and bottom, and then we'll have to connect the brake sensor. All the way inside, so everything's tight. Okay, I got to the driver's side, and what I noticed, once you remove those 13 millimeter bolts, and I reuse them on the passenger side, then I looked in the box, there is four new bolts, if you buy the brakes from a dealer, is included. And I didn't show you on the uh, passenger side how to include, how to install this clip back. Okay, almost done with that uh, driver's side uh, brake caliper. Uh, also, first when I was trying to slide this whole caliper assembly onto the, onto the rotor, I noticed something on the other side was not letting me to push all the way through, and that was this rubber boot. So what you do, you want to slide them out to create the room for the for the for the caliper to slide on. So basically, I just uh, went with two thumbs from top, top and bottom and just pu push that thing in and it goes into place. And then I'll have to put that cap back on. Okay, so now it sits nice and tight. I, I'm going to put the wheel back on. Okay, I put the wheel back on. The next step, you see, that brake fluid is all the way up. So, a good thing the wheel got the cap loose. Otherwise, that would have a problem. And the next step, step, the final step would be to get in the car and don't drive your car right away. Push that brake pedal a few times.
Okay, that was the brake job for Mercedes W212 body chassis, whatever you call it. And I'm pretty sure I saved a lot of money over going to the mechanic or the Mercedes dealership. And I hope it was helpful for someone to save some money too.